And welcome back to another knockoff toy review. So these ones are quite uh, worrying because they are a knockoff of the, um, the Gecko uh, figures. Now, the genuine ones uh, sell for quite a lot of money. You see, about £50 sort of each. And obviously these are Chinese knockoffs, but they've got like the branding on them. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to have something on that. I would expect press it possibly there would be something on the packaging. Um, you know, barcodes, I guess. So just be aware that these are on the market. Um, Sweet Factory Souvenir Shop, Lakeside, Lakeside Amusement Park. So these obviously are the Robbie Rabbit figures. We'll get one open and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Lock the side. So there's different coloured ones. The um, they're like a flocked um, texture on them. Articulated. They actually seem quite good quality. This one comes with a gun. There's obviously a. I'm just kind of a maker's mark there. Not sure what that says. So, uh, that has a little pin in the hand for it to hold the gun. I've got to say, they do look quite good. Um, let's move this down. There we go. I don't know how well they stand. They don't seem to stand very well. Although this is slightly leaning back. My table's actually kind of leaning back a little bit. Uh, there's, this one has Robbie the Rabbit Mini lineup, collect them all. So that's all six figures, which we do have here. This is a stretcher. So you'd actually have a barcode on this one. I think the price for all of these was £30. So as you can tell, like £50 each, you're looking at... 300 plus whatever this one costs. Silent Hill 3, Robbie the Rabbit. How to play. Okay, interesting. Flip the mattress to lay Robbie the Rabbit mini on it. Okay. Yeah, have a look at this. Okay, so the quality of this is really bad. The, the, um, it's not fitting together. It actually looks almost like it's snapped off inside. They don't fit at all. I guess we kind of might be able to jam that in there. But no, it's not going to go together. So that is a complete rip off. You know, we've got all these little bars, and uh, you know, I think it doesn't even fit in there. I'm wondering actually if it was um, pre, you know, made in in here, and now it's broken to pieces. So that kind of looks like it's completely wrecked. Um, here's part of the bed. And this one even has a Maker's Mark printed on it. Um, I guess they would fit in like that. No, like that. Yeah, pick that one up. I guess for that you might have to glue it, but it's not going to... Let me have another look. Yeah, very badly made. That's not really going to go together, so 
So I'll just stick that to the side. Maybe you could glue it, super glue it together. So we'll open up uh, the next one. This is the yellow one, it comes with a little mace. It's kind of remind me of like, a bit like uh, civilian families. So we've got the, the blood on his outfit. This one is the purple one. It's noted on the side here, it says, Take a tour in a dreamland to make the dreams come true. And then it has pictures of like a horse and stuff. Here is the, the purple guy. With a green bow tie, unlike the other ones who both have a uh, yellow. Okay, and the quality of these figures don't, don't seem too bad. The, uh, oh, just noticed there is some sort of bad paint on the um, side of the face there. Got this blue one. Comes with the best weapon, the chainsaw. Again, there's more bad detailing on the face. So I see some paint spillage up there. This one's the more traditional uh, pink, also carrying a mace like the other one. And lastly, the green one. And so lastly, we have this sort of like greeny coloured one, he's got like a little um, a big saw blade. So there we go. Buyers beware that these are on the market. So do not get fooled if you're thinking of buying one of the genuine ones. On the other hand, fifty quid for a figure is a is a lot of money. Which is probably why they are making the uh, bootleg ones. These are seem to be fairly good quality. The obviously some of the the paint going up the face shouldn't be there, and this um, this gurney is completely wrecked. So make of them what you will. Try not to get um, fooled into buying these, thinking they are the genuine ones. Like I say, I'm sure that must be supposed to have like a barcode on it, but. This one does have a barcode, so, you know, be careful. And until next time, ta-ra for now.